All right, good morning for this Tuesday, May 28th. Hope everybody had a fantastic three-day holiday weekend. And as you recall, I was not in on Friday, so there's no video from me, but I hope hopefully you enjoyed Doc's video on Friday. All right, let's uh, get right into it. The chart you're looking at right now is the E-mini S&P 500. The market's about to open up in about 35 seconds here, so we're going to wait for the market to open. The market's going to open up significantly higher, significantly higher. But one thing I want to point out is on Friday, Friday the market was unable to take out Thursday's low. See this right here I'm pointing to? The market missed taking it out by one tick in the E-mini S&P 500. All right, market just opened up higher. Let's see where it opens up. About 1666 and a quarter. Look at this. Right, right here is where it opened. Let me enlarge this chart just a little bit here for you. Look at this. What I have here, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the Fibonacci retracements. I'm gonna draw from the highest high in the market right here down to this little correct, corrective low here. And as you can see right here, the market has opened up right at the 61.8% retracement of this down move, down off the <clears throat> So as you can see here, the market has opened up quite a bit higher. I'm, I mean, you're looking at, <coughs> excuse me, 15 points higher in the E-minis, which is equivalent to about 150 Dow points. So this is what, the 20, this would be the 20, 20th Tuesday in a row that the market would be up if today closes higher. Do you realize in the last few months we have not seen more than a three-day correction? That that hasn't happened last until uh, I think the last time we got a run like this was I, I believe it was 1935. So again, we have not had a three-day correction in quite a while. So I'm gonna bet that the market. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen. I like all I know right now is the market. If you were measuring from the high, right? down to this little corrective low, we're at a 61.8% retracement. It'll be interesting to see if we see any type of, of resistance come into play. But as you can see right now, it's trading at 16.67 and a half. So we've actually taken out that 60% retracement. The market is extremely strong. If you're going to play this to the downside, you definitely would want to want to um, place that stop above the high and give yourself plenty of room to breathe. Uh, I mean, again, I'm not calling a top here by any means. The market is extremely strong, but if you're on, if you're one of those people who does just does not think the market can go any higher, uh, you would want to be selling it right in this area with the stop above this high right here that was put in place what last Wednesday. Okay, let's go over a couple other markets here. As you recall, I'm long a C a CEF, and we're at about. Right here, we're still long this market at a price of what fifteen dollars and fifty cents. The market's trading at fifteen seventy. The market really hasn't done a whole lot. My stop, as you recall, is a close below fourteen dollars and seventy nine cents below this low right here. So I'm waiting for this market to pop. My first profit target on this market is sixteen dollars and seventy cents way up in here, right where this horizontal line is right here. I'm looking at that. Another market I want you to take a look at is gold. I'm looking at the gold ETF, GLD. And I'm looking at this as, I mean, look at, you know, you got a low in here. I mean, granted, the, the trend is down. All the bars are red. Okay, Inter, you know, short term, the, the gold is down. But as you can see, we've got a potential, potential double bottom here, DB, double bottom, potentially, right? So I'm looking to go long right in here with a stop below these lows, actually a close, a close below GLD's low, and that is thirteen dollar uh, hundred and thirty rather, hundred and thirty fifty one. That is the lowest price that we've seen here on, on this day right in here. So a close below thirteen fifty one, I would be out of this market. I'm looking to go long right here, right now, at about 133.73. Okay, 133.68.73, right in here. Going long with a stop below that 130.51. Take a look at one, one other market I'm looking to go long on. And I, okay, the market opened up actually above that level. So I am, 
kind of missed that trade. Um, let's take a look at that right now. It's NSM, Nation Star Morg Mortgage Holdings. Uh, let me show you and, and let me walk you through what I'm thinking here, okay? Basically, this market is up. This was the high right in here. We've broken up through that high. We ran real nice. As you can see, the bars are all uh, green right here in an uptrend. We finally got a nice pullback between the mid to the lower band in here, okay? And on Friday, created that inside pattern, okay? That high was 40, 40, uh, 42 right 4241 10 cents above 4241 is 4251 today opened up at 4298 traded down to 4225 but that happened real real quick and I was on this video talking to you so I missed this trade but I would have been long here if it had opened up within the range of Friday and then traded up through it 4251 was the buy the stop would be below the day uh, the, the low of the high that was taken out that would have gotten you into the trade. So 42, 41.26 would be the stop. So let me just show you this again. Looking to go long right here at 42.51, right? That was taken out first. The initial stop loss is below the, the low of the day that, right? This low right here at 42. 20 well this low is 41.36 so 10 cents below it's 41.26 okay uh, but again miss this trade so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this on my radar see if the market can come back down I'll watch it again uh, down in this area in here so let's just flip here to the e-minis real quick let's look at an intraday chart real quick all right so this is where we have opened up open up right up in here we've created this tight little inside bar here now if you're a bit more aggressive and you're looking for the market to try to fill the gap at least try to fill the gap I mean again I've seen this a million times over the last 20 years you get a big gap if the market is not able to fill the gap or at least try to come down at least let's measure from Friday's close to today's high I would expect the market to come down at least to the 38.2% retracement back to the daily R2 right in here. Okay, about 16, 61, 62 even. It's at 65. We've just broken down through the inside pattern right in here. If you tend to be a little bit more aggressive, you could be going short right here as the market takes out the low of that inside pattern. Your buy stop, your initial catastrophe stop loss would be at 16, 68 and a quarter which would be two ticks above today's high, okay? So very low risk trade in here, looking to go short, looking for the market, I would say, to come down to 16.62 and a quarter minimum. Let's put the 62 and a quarter right there. Again, a stop, a stop above the first three minute bar high right there. And again, big gap open though, the market's extremely strong, I would, I would expect the market to try to come, like I just said, 38.2% retracement, about 16, 61.5. If the market is not able to pull back at least to the 38.2% retracement from where it closed on Friday to today's high, and then comes back up and takes out the high of the day, I think we'll have a real strong move to the upside. But again, that's the scenario I'm looking for. So looking for the market to pull back at least the 38.2 percent retracement all right if the market's able to do it or if it's not even able to pull back that far but comes back up and takes out the high of the day then at that point I would say we're gonna have a strong move to the upside okay so again that's that's what I see and if you've got any questions let me know let's see if this market can drop down and try to at least go to 16.62 and a quarter. Okay. And all right. If you've got any questions, let me know. Have a profitable day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.